How do we discern between actual love and the fake, sometimes toxic, representations of love that we get from the media? Let's get in there. So, like, listen, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I have no idea what I'm talking about, and, and, I, and I say that only because I have no idea what I'm talking about. When it comes to love, I uh, like to say things in a manner that makes you think that I know what I'm talking about, but I've really not experienced much of it, at least in the romantic sense in my life. And, uh, and I find myself sometimes in situations being like, oh, what do I do? And, uh, and that's fun. But here's when I do know what I'm talking about, because I've made a lot of mistakes. And, and that's what we're gonna go, we're gonna go with to answer this question. I, like many a young child, grew up watching, uh, movies. Love movies. Movies in which love was involved. And, cause love is in movies and, like, books and stuff. It's really popular. I don't know if you've, I don't know if you know that. I also grew up in a very emo time. Like a real emo, it's real emo time. For most of my young adult life, I have had it in my mind that love somehow equates to suffering. Maybe I didn't think that that was in my mind, but boy oh boy, it was in my mind. I just remember so many times where I would just be staring at my phone, just like hoping they would text me. Like just like, and, and just feeling just this pain, this horrible like, oh my gosh, they hate me. And then they would text me and it would be this like momentary lapse in that pain. And then it would come back 30 seconds later. And in my mind, I was like, hmm, I'm in love. But, <laughs> but dude, that's not love. <laughs> I can remember a few times actually where, uh, where I was involved with the person and uh, they were nowhere near as into me as I was into them. And, uh, and I would just, I would be stuck in my head, I would be so, like, upset and angry about it, and I would just want so much more than they were willing or able to give to me, and, uh, and I was like, this is it, yeah, just fight for them, fight, fight very hard for them, and that's what love is, You'll, it'll become worth it. Just because it's dramatic doesn't mean that it's significant, you know what I mean? And I think that's something that when, when all of us, when we're young, <laughs> we mistake drama for significance because uh, it feels significant. And sometimes it is significant, but, uh, but sometimes, man, it's, it's not. And in relationships, especially early on, if it's real dramatic, it's probably not, not love. You know what I mean? I'm going to answer the question now because <laughs> somebody asked me a question. How do we discern between real love and the movies love. Let's go for it. This is something that I started to do uh, for myself about a year ago, and it's something that uh, that has made me a much healthier and happier person. Um, and that's think about how you feel about the person when you're actually with them versus when you're not with them. And that sounds so obvious, sounds so obvious, but for me it was not obvious. I would be so much more into people when I wasn't with them than when I was actually with them. And in my mind, it just was like, oh, I'm yearning for them. Oh, it just means I, I'm longing for them, and that's romantic. No, that's, that's you. That's all you. That's none of this other person, and that's all you. If thinking about a person makes you happier than actually speaking to or hanging out with a person, that's not real. I hate to break it to you. I, 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 that's not real. <laughs> Missing someone, that's okay. That's, that's fine. That's, that's, that's a real, very real thing. But like, if you're actually with a person and you're underwhelmed by them because they're not measuring up to like your daydreams, oh boy, you're in for some troubles. And as somebody who's done that a lot, uh, please exit the building, exit the ride, um, because, oh geez, uh, you're gonna hurt yourself. Please don't hurt yourself. Real love, uh, while emotional, I think, uh, is more a choice than anything. And, uh, the first primary, most important choice is whether or not somebody is choosing you while you choose them. It's mutual. It's two people being like, yes, you. Let's do it. Let's go for it. And that's, and that's what I, that, that, that's pretty much the only thing that I'm sure of. Beyond that most basic of, do I want to be with you? Yes, I want to be with you too. Um, I really don't know what I'm talking about. And that used to be something that, uh, would make me very sad. Like, oh, I've never, like, really experienced love in my adult life. I've never really done that. But if anything, for me, it's, uh, it's more exciting now, the way that I look at it. I don't want to go through my life knowing what to do at all times. I don't want to go through life having all the answers and being like, yep, I got that, I know what I'm doing, because that's not fun. It's more exciting to me if I don't know what I'm doing. If I'm figuring it out as I'm going along and just living and feeling and being honest in the moment, that's, that's more exciting to me. So I guess to answer the question, um, I don't really have an answer. Just be aware of your feelings and listen to them, trust them, 
And, uh, and if there's doubts, speak on them, go through them, feel what you need to feel. Uh, just be a person, because personal belief time, I think uh, love, not necessarily romantic love, any kind of love, there's so many kinds of love, is, um, is like what we're here to do, like as people, you know? I think it's like such a fundamental thing that we're here to do. And I don't know, man, love isn't supposed to hurt. Like it can hurt, that's real, but I don't think it's supposed to. Like if you're basing your, your criteria for love on does it kind of hurt, then um, I think you're in trouble in your life, because I think the world is much softer. Than, uh, than we sometimes view it. So I'm gonna end with that. Go out there, be soft, hug a dog, you know, hug many dogs if possible. I, that, that would be great. I'm gonna get off of here, love you a lot, and I will see you on Friday. Hey friends, I hope you're uh, having a wonderful time. I hope your weekend was rad. Uh, I personally feel very good about myself right now. I feel very good about my art. I feel very good about stuff. My goal right now is to build some momentum with y'all, and I hope that, uh, You'll jump on this little spaceship with me. You can keep touch with me on social media. Any of the stuff that's in the description uh, make me really happy. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to get excited. I feel excited and I love you guys. Later. Bye!